what's up guys, Pin in here, and I'd like to go over the top 5 worst games of 2015. Teen, teen. <laughs> so yeah, these are games that I thought might be totally awesome, but then in my opinion, you guys might like them, but in my opinion, they weren't as great as I thought. So starting off with number 5. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5. Now, I'm a huge Tony Hawk Pro Skater fan, everybody knows this, and the thing about it is, it was a letdown, because they milked it so hard being like an original Tony Hawk game, and when it came out, it just lacked a lot of stuff, you know? And I still, you know, enjoy it. And I think you guys can get it for 20 bucks now, and it's worth that. But, the full $60 price that the real fans paid to play it on day one, that was really, really crappy of them to do to us. It should have been $30 from the beginning, and they knew that, and it sucks. So, moving on to number four. You guys are going to hate me a lot about this list, but Dark Souls 2. Okay, I know I just don't understand it, and it's a really hard game, but to me, it was just really boring and like just repetitive. It was beautiful, but it was like kill this monster, then kill the same one that looks like him, then kill the same one that looks like him to get this item that you don't know what to do. It's just one of those games that you need to really dig in deep, look up Wikipedia's for, learn how to master, and I just don't appreciate hard ass games. So moving on to another hard ass game, number three, Hotline Miami 2. This is the first time I got into Hotline Miami, and I really actually enjoyed it. It was really, really fun the first few levels. But that game is ridiculously hard sometimes. It is really unforgiving hard without any checkpoints, and just, it's fun at first, but it really just dropped the ball. And so I just thought it'd be kind of worth mentioning that I really liked it, and then it just lost its flavor once I bought it. It kind of made me feel sour. So, number two. Metal Gear Solid 5, I'm sorry. I know that's a lot of you guys' number one game of this year. I know. But here's the thing. It got a 10 out of 10 everywhere. I wanted to play it so bad and I couldn't. Then two months later, I got to finally play it. And when I did, I sat down for about four hours and played it total. And then I never wanted to play it anymore. I wanted to go play Fallout. I wanted to go play Just Cause. I wanted to go play all the other games that are better that I can just jump into and enjoy. With Metal Gear, it was like, duck behind this and try to sneak over here and story you don't understand. And a boring kind of bland world without really cities. You just got huts. It just really, it didn't do it for me. And I do want to give it another try. I do want to play it again. I still own it, you know, and I might get into it again. But it just, it was a letdown because I really thought it was going to be good. I'm not saying it was the worst game of 2015. It wasn't. But... For me, it was one of the biggest letdowns. I thought it was going to be a lot better, I thought it was going to hook me more, and it really didn't. Number one. So you guys aren't here anymore because I said Metal Gear Solid sucks. No, I didn't say it sucks. Okay, I'm sorry. I know you guys are hating me right now, okay? So let's go on a subject that we can all agree on. You guys play 3DS? Okay. Animal Crossing, Happy Home Designer. What the heck is this? Nintendo put this game out. Instead of announcing Animal Crossing for Wii U, they say here, Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer for 3DS and Animal Crossing Party, basically, for Wii U. So they made two spin-offs of Animal Crossing instead of giving us a real Animal Crossing game. That was, to me, the biggest letdown of 2015. It was absolutely heartbreaking and it just, I literally sold my Wii U after that. I did. And it was really sad and it was really silly of me, but I really wanted Animal Crossing Wii U and we all thought that was it. And then they said it was the Happy Home Designer. Every Nintendo fan died a little bit that day. <laughs> so that's my like, you know, top five kind of like bad slash worst things, games that happened in 2015. Let me know yours. Don't hate me too much. It is just an opinion. Come on, guys. I didn't say Metal Gear Solid sucks. I mean, it's cool and all. I just didn't like it as much. And Dark Souls is really hard. So don't hate on me. Talk to you guys later. Like and subscribe. I'm the only channel where dust can fly. Peace.